Hello, welcome to Beer Survival. I'm out in the woods today doing a 24 hour solo uh, camp. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through the kit that I've got with me. So this kit isn't a you must carry this and you shouldn't carry that. This is just my guidance on what I carry for this kind of 24 hours in the woods. So I'll get the kit out and I'll show you what I've got. So starting off uh, from this end then, it's kind of split into sort of four main areas. So the first thing is my sleeping system. You're gonna want some sort of shelter to protect you from the rain. I use a 3x3 DD tarp, a good bit of kit, nice and light, and actually packs down quite small. Then, um, depending on your preference, you can either sleep in a tree in a hammock or on the floor with a roll mat. I'm so I have my hammock here, and then I also have my Neo Air Thermo Rest. Uh, nice and small, nice and light, and it actually gives you quite a, a bit of insulation and padding. Um, quite a comfortable night's sleep in that. Inside uh, here then, I have my sleeping bag, and that is a Snug Pack Jungle, and it's wrapped up around a um, Snug Pack SF bivy bag, so I keep the two uh, together especially if I'm going to be uh, ground sleeping, sleeping on my roll mat, I'm definitely going to want to have my bivy bag. Food and water, so there's not a lot of options here for sourcing water, so I've made sure that I've brought at least two litres of water in with me. Um, probably the minimum that I'd have for 24 hours. I've got 24 hours army rations uh, nice and light, nice and convenient. Along with that then, if there was a water source, I do have my uh, brown bag in here so that I can filter the water and then boil it. I have my zebra billy can and the convenient uh, metal mug. In front of there then, I have my sort of spare clothes and warm weather gear. Again, we're in June, don't really need these but it's always a good idea to put them in there. You know, the temperature could drop, the rain could come in. So I've got a slightly thicker long sleeve shirt. Again, as that kind of mid uh, layer in the evenings. A pair of leather gloves, always useful when you're in the woods, taking hot things out the fire, handling um, thorny branches, things with splinters, um, etc. So a pair of leather gloves and just genuinely keeping your hands warm in the evenings. I keep a, a thick hat, again even in the even in the summer it doesn't take up any space, it's literally just part of my pack. Then if it is cold, especially at night in your sleeping bag, I never actually tuck my head into the sleeping bag, so having that hat on just provides that little bit more uh, warmth on the old bald head. It's a uh, neck scarf, um, whatever you want to call it, buff. Again, sometimes you just get that little bit of a chill in and around your neck. Uh, I've got my sort of thicker uh, overcoat um, as well there for when it gets colder. Section then are the kind of tools, accessories, etc. So the first thing, my first aid kit, this is always going to be to hand. If it's not in my pocket, it's going to be very close by whenever I'm using any of the sharps. I have a small folding shovel, many uses, in case you need to go for a number two. But a good couple of metres of cordage there. A wooden spoon, a little wooden spoon that I've carved to go with the, the food. I have my GoPro, so if the camera dies on my, uh, if the battery dies on my camera, I've got my GoPro or for other shots. Then I've got a small emergency fire lighting kit. Emergency, everything soaking wet, uh, you know, 
that's my go-to fire kit there. And then I have my cutting tools. So the first one, my large bushcraft knife that you've seen uh, many times. This is a knife I've actually made myself. I have my silky saw, folding saw. And my Grounds Force Brooks hatchet. Again, if I was in the woods in the winter or out for a little bit longer, I'd probably have my full size axe. But that will do me for now. I have my DC4 sharpening stone and then just the rucksack that it comes in. And this is uh, a little bit bigger than your average, sort of like. 35 to 40 litres so it's probably about a 50 litre um, bag and I fit all of that in there nice and easy. Things like the, the coat um, which I would normally be wearing takes up quite a large space in that bag. Again you perhaps don't need the hammock every time if you've got your roll mat. Again I like to have the options. Then the only other thing that I've not talked about is just my spare camera gear so spare batteries. The, bag for the tripod um, etc all goes in there. The only other things that I haven't talked about are the things that are actually in my pocket. So I have my mobile phone, I have uh, a ferro rod, I have a lighter and I have a small Swiss Army knife. So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed uh, this uh, quick little tip, uh, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and share it with anyone else that might find it interesting.